William, e. William Smith by Will Strickle. Here's a picture of William Smith in his workshop. In early life, he was born in Wichita, Kansas, and became interested in photography at the age of 14. At the age of 17, he worked for his local newspaper in Wichita, Kansas. He received a photographer scholarship to the University of Notre Dame. Here's one of his pictures that I liked out because it leads all of these. It all kind of looks like it leads up to the two men in white overalls, which is the name of the picture, the two men in white overalls. And there's other uses of diagonal and horizontal lines all through this picture, and I just like it. The demolition team. I like this picture because it shows like the contrast of the background to the, all of the dark smoke. And then within the dark smoke, there is another white smoke. So it's just like a lot of contrast in it. And I like how in like all of the men over here, you can you can't really see the expressions on their face, but you know how they're feeling just like by their body language. He left Notre Dame after one year. He did not finish college. He went to New York when he joined the staff on Newsweek and Freelance for Life, Callers, Harper's Bazaar, The New York Times, and other publications. He had jobs right out of college working as a photographer, so he didn't really struggle that much. Here's another one of the pictures he took, which is the pitching boys. And I like how he caught all of the boys in their pitching motion. Like they all have these kind of funky body language. And like I'm not sure this is like one of the reasons, but I like how like the contorted shadows throughout the whole thing. I just like the shadows in this one a lot. Companies, he worked for large companies such as Sports Illustrated, Freelance for Life Pageant, and Photographic Study in Pittsburgh. He worked for Hitchai in Japan. Japan. He moved to Japan and he worked for Hitchai, which is, their motto is Inspire the Next. He's a Japanese multinational conglomerate company headquarters in Chiyoda. Tokyo, Japan. It is the parent company of the Hijai Group and forms part of DKB Group companies. Yeah, so he just worked as a photographer for this company. He taught at new schools in the U.S. He taught at the New School for Social Research and the Visual Arts in New York. He also worked for the University of Arizona in Tucson. A Walk in Paradise Garden. This is one of his most fa famous photo essays, which is one of his first it's called a walk in paradise garden because like the picture shows his two kids one boy and one girl who are surrounded by trees and bushes i'll show it in a sec i have it on the next slide but it has a good rule of composition which is framing and also has a great use of shadows you can see how like it has like the framing like it's forcing you to look at them and like the great use of like how these are like dark shadows cast in and it's light out outside the tunnel He did have a drug and alcohol problem in his life, uh, and it was pretty bad. His he never denied the fact that he had one; like he knew he had one, but he claimed it it never had an effect on his on his work. The square government buildings with Columbus between the two cathedrals. So he the point of it is to show this large government building between two like holy churches. And like, I just think it's pretty cool. It's just like the difference between the two buildings. His later life, Smith died in Tucson, Arizona on October 15th, 1978. He won the Guggenheim Fellowship Award in 1956 and 1957. He is known as a photo legend in the photojournalism world. He set the bar for the next level, like the next generation of photojournalism and like the people coming in to do it. Like, they look at him for inspiration. That is the end.